Simon & Schuster Audio presents Giant Steps, Small Changes to Make a Big Difference, Daily Lessons in Self-Mastery. Written and read by Anthony Robbins. Giant Steps is based on his number one bestseller, Awaken the Giant Within. Also available in quality paperback, the Giant Steps book features 365 inspirational daily messages, many of which include exercises for improving your mental, emotional, physical, and financial destiny. Hi, this is Anthony Robbins. I want to welcome you. I know that whoever you are and whatever success you've already achieved in your life or whatever challenges you may currently be experiencing, I know that what brought you to this audio program is your desire for results. And as a fellow traveler on this amazing journey we call life, I really want to salute you for your dedication and your commitment because so many people talk about making their lives better, but they don't do anything about it. But you know what? You're following through. If you're listening to my voice right now, you're a person of action. And I want to both congratulate you and promise you that if you're willing to play full out and continue to act on what you learn in this program, that you'll be rewarded far beyond your expectations, which I'm sure are quite high. Now, Giant Steps is based upon the finest tools, techniques, principles, and strategies that are offered in my number one bestseller, Awaken the Giant Within. My goal in writing Giant Steps is twofold. First, to inspire you. And second, to funnel that energy into measurable results for getting you to consistently take some kind of action from what you've just learned. Together, these daily inspirations and these small actions will lead to giant steps forward in the quality of your life. Now, I've designed this program to fit easily into your busy lifestyle by helping you to turn these philosophies and strategies and techniques into sort of little bite-sized chunks that you can easily digest in just a few minutes a day. That way, you don't have to listen to the entire program all at once. In fact, it might be better to listen to just one or two passages at a time and then act on these rather than just taking in more and more information. In fact, use this program in any way that serves you best but I suggest the optimal approach is to listen to one single passage, to think for a few moments about how it relates to your life, and then to immediately write down your thoughts and reactions to what you just heard in either a notebook or a hardbound journal. This way you're more likely to incorporate these skills into your life and produce the results that I know you're committed to. Now, of course, if you're listening to this in your car, be sure to make some time later on to fill out a journal, but you can still think about the ideas and how it relates to your life. Of course, my purpose in just sharing this with you is I really want to help you to achieve the maximum result possible with the smallest investment of your time. And above all, I want to invite you and I want to challenge you to immediately act upon what you hear. Because after all, what good is inspiration if it's not backed up by action? And finally, I want to thank you for the gift of allowing me to share these skills with you. I hope that something in this program, a single sentence, a compelling thought, a strategy, an exercise, a powerful idea, will somehow move you in a special way and get you to take your life to a new level of quality. If so, I'll feel very fortunate indeed. So let's not talk anymore. Let's get started. Let's start taking action with giant steps, small changes that make a big difference, a set of daily lessons in self mastery. Part 1. Dreams of Destiny. We all have dreams. We all want to believe deep down in our souls that we have a special gift, that we can make a difference, that we can touch others in a special way, and that we can somehow make the world a better place. What's one of your aspirations? Maybe it's a dream you've forgotten or have begun to relinquish. If that vision were alive today, what would your life be like? Would you have more inspiration? Take a moment right now and just dream. Think about what would you really want for your life if you could have it any way you wanted it.
It's not what we do once in a while that counts, but our consistent actions are what make the real difference. And by the way, what is the father of all action? What ultimately determines who we become and where we go in our lives? The answer is our decisions. You see, it's in the moments of decision that our destiny is truly shaped. More than anything else, I believe our decisions, not the conditions of our lives, determine our ultimate destiny. Who would have thought that the conviction of a quiet, unassuming man, a lawyer by trade and a pacifist by principle, would have the power to topple a vast empire? Yet Mahatma Gandhi's decision, his belief in nonviolence as a means of helping India's people to regain control of their country, set in motion an unexpected chain of events. Realize the power of a single decision acted upon immediately and with utter conviction. The secret is to make a public commitment, one so forceful you can't turn back once you've made it. While many thought that was an impossible dream, Gandhi's consistent commitment to his decision made it become an undeniable reality. What could you do? What could you accomplish if you invoked a similar level of passion, conviction, and action to create unstoppable momentum in your life starting today? Each of us is endowed with innate resources that enable us to achieve whatever we dream of and more. The floodgates can be opened by one decision, bringing us either joy or sorrow, prosperity or poverty, companionship or solitude, a long life, or for that matter, an early death. I want to challenge you to make a decision today. Don't just listen to this program. Do something you've been putting off. Master a new skill. Treat people with a newfound love or respect or compassion. Call someone you haven't spoken to in years and just know something. Know that all decisions have consequences for your life. Even making no decision at all is a decision in its own way. What decisions have you made or failed to make in the past that have powerfully influenced your life even today? And what new decision could you make right now? We all have goals, whether we know it or not. No matter what they are, they have a profound effect on our lives. Yet some of our goals, such as I need to pay my lousy bills, certainly lack inspiration. They're not going to give you anything in your life. They're going to pull you down. So the secret of unleashing your true power is to set goals that are exciting enough that they truly inspire your creativity and they ignite your passion. So right now, consciously choose your goals. Brainstorm everything worth pursuing in your life. Then pick a single goal that excites you the most, something that will get you up early and keep you up late, and assign a deadline for achieving it. And then think about why you must absolutely attain it by that date. Is it grand enough to challenge you, to push you beyond your limits, to uncover your true potential? Find one that does that to you right now. Never leave the sight of a goal without first taking some form of positive action towards its attainment. Right now, take a moment to define the first steps you must take to achieve your goal. In other words, you can't just write down a goal and say, now I'm going to get it. The question is, what are you going to do? What can you do today to move yourself forward? Even the smallest step, a phone call, a commitment, sketching out an initial plan will put you closer to your goal. Then develop a list of simple things you can do every day for the next 10 days. These 10 consecutive days of action will create a chain of habits and they'll begin to build for you that force we all need to succeed. Unstoppable momentum. This is what ensures long-term success. So begin creating that momentum right now. If your first attempt at achieving your goals seems futile, should you move on and do something else? Absolutely not. Persistence overshadows even talent as the most valuable resource in shaping the quality of people's lives. After all, no one ever achieved a goal by being interested in its achievement. One must be committed. Isn't it possible that some of the short-term, quote, failures may actually have provided you with the necessary insights or distinct